So one of the key things in managing scalable applications is that we want them to be flexible, secure, and efficient in the way that we work with them. In this video, we're gonna go through how we use port binding to improve an application's portability, security, and make it easier to work with. So let's dig into that. Hi everyone, this is our 12 Factor App series on application modernization, where we talk about how to make applications more reliable, scalable, and efficient. Now, the sixth factor of a 12 Factor App is that the apps are self-contained, independent processes that do not run under the control of the parent process. For example, a 12 Factor App does not rely on the runtime injection of a web server into the execution environment in order to create a web-facing service. Now, one of the benefits of port binding is that it enables us to specify an internal and an external port. For instance, we might have a distributed app with three different web services running on port 80 that we can map to three different ports, such as 3000, 3001, and 3002. And by doing this, it enables us to map traffic to those ports independently. In a web app, for example, we export HTTP as a service by binding to a port and listening to requests coming in on that port. And HTTP isn't the only service that can be exported by port binding. Nearly any kind of server software can be run via a process binding to a port and awaiting incoming requests. And we map traffic to all of these processes via a routing layer that is put behind a load balancer. And a Google load balancer can even map traffic directly to a Kubernetes pod, which is connected to a container using container native load balancing, which enables us to scale more effectively. Now, one of the other benefits of exporting services via port binding is that it enables us to treat some services as backing services, such as putting PHP behind an Nginx web server service and passing traffic between those services. Now, this consistent approach of using port binding enables us to combine multiple 12-factor apps into a distributed application. And this helps improve security because we're being very specific about which ports can gain access to that container. But additional security measures do need to be taken depending on what you're doing. And at Fernie, we've used port binding and the 12-factor app methodology to create sites, services, APIs, landing pages that are highly scalable to millions of users every day and are built using this methodology that enables them to be flexible, secure, and efficient to work with. So I hope that helps you on your quest to building better, scalable, manageable, and efficient applications that are easier to work with. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.